criminal profile. Erica Joe for mass reanimation, necromancy, assault on enforcement operatives, murder of mortals, conspiracy to damage department infrastructure. Aliases Erichtho, Crone, Mother Fright, Accursed, Daughter of the Morrigan, Fairy Sinker, Date of Birth, Unknown, Place of Birth, Unknown, Place of Death, Kish, Presumed, Date of Death, Unknown, Hair, White, Eyes, white, height, five foot two, weight, approximately 120 pounds, build, extremely frail, complexion, gray, waxy, sex, female, designation, lich, Languages Sumerian, Akkadian, Assyrian, Persian, Sanskrit, Greek, Etruscan, Latin, Polabian, Pomeranian, Kashubian, German, Russian, Ukrainian, Slovak, Czech, Danish, English, scars, features, varies, remarks. Erica Joe is an ancient figure known for profoundly disturbing and powerful acts of necromancy and magic exploitative of the dead. She has evaded capture by enforcement operatives for the entirety of her lengthy activities. Though her birthplace is unknown, it is believed she was killed in the ancient city of Kish by order of Sargon the Great, who found her proclivity for magic related to death not to his liking. The manner of her reanimation is unknown, but she has displayed numerous characteristics consistent with the modern designation of Lich, an undead sorceress. Determining her involvement in historical events is difficult. Her skill at evading apprehension also has limited Harvester's ability to tie her to events. Confirmed instances of Erica Joe's activity include reanimating soldiers on the battlefields of ancient Assyria, necromancy during the time of Julius Caesar, cannibalistic accounts of the Slavic tribes that have since turned to myth, and most recently of orchestrating the Warsaw Blackout. Unconfirmed but strongly suspected instances are too numerous to list presently. Erica Joe is believed to have personally killed more than 20,000 mortals during her existence and to be indirectly responsible for the deaths of many times that. She has reanimated entire armies of the dead even wresting sleeping souls from cold shore for her ends. Her agents have interfered with harvests numerous times, and have even crossed the threshold into the netherworld to attack cold shore itself, though each time they were repulsed. Analysts are mystified by her. Individual instances of her activity appear to be calculated and designed to yield very specific results. However, no apparent design or pattern has emerged over her thousands of years of necromancy. 
One theory is that every attempt at reaching her unknown goal has been thwarted, requiring a return to planning each time. Another analyst suggested that she has no endgame, but is simply passing the many years of existence in ways that please her corrupted nature. No consensus has been reached at present. As an officially classified lich, Erica Jo is corporeal undead. The form she inhabits was once her living body. On her death, her spirit re-inhabited the body, partially restoring the function of its constituent parts and partially forcing animation through direct application of willpower. This form of undeath allows her superhuman strength. Willpower flows directly from her being into the remaining skeletal and musculature form. It also permits her withered sensory organs to still transmit information to the remnant of her brain. Additionally, the presence of her spirit in the physical realm allows her a sixth sense, overlaid over the other five. This sixth sense, called Geistaugen, lets her see more than rays of light would permit. She can sense deception in words both spoken and written. She sees spirits that physical eyes alone cannot detect. It is speculated that she is prescient and can predict moments into the future. She can look at a fallen implement on the ground, such as an umbrella or flashlight, and review the state of mind of its dropper when it fell. Erica does require periodic sustenance, however. Her willpower will fade otherwise. Flesh is her primary source of sustenance. She prefers to consume human flesh, but has been witnessed leaving skeletons of animals picked clean of all soft tissue. She may also take some form of spiritual energy from mortals through interaction, either before a kill or incidentally as she stalks her way through the crowds of the world. Her most problematic ability is her talent for reanimating the dead. Using recently shed blood of a mortal human, Erica Jo can perform a ritual that calls to resting souls and pulls them from their slumber back into the mortal realm. The specifics of the ritual have yet to be observed by department operatives. Agents close on the scene after she departed found only the corpse of the mortal whose blood was used. A series of diagrams formed either in chalk or etched into the ground, and large containers, usually plastic tubs, that once held water or charcoal. No evidence of fire was found at any of the scenes, despite the presence of the charcoal. Of particular concern in this regard is that her rituals have reached even through the protections placed on souls ensconced within Cold Shore's vaults. Most recent reports of her whereabouts indicate Eastern Europe to be her current hunting ground, specifically Poland. Harvesters and operatives are advised to report any potential sightings to department dispatch immediately, and to not approach the individual in question. Wait 
for special apprehension personnel to arrive on location and obey their every instruction and command. Erica Joe is considered a class one threat to mortal and undead alike.